elegance, sophistication, taste, grace. <laughs> Flip flops. Yes. See them toes, the toes popping through her ball gown? Flip flops. They're actually the only thing that works here. She's at the pool. All right, what are you gonna wear to the pool? A ball gown? <laughs> For real. Anyway, yes, that's right. Flip flops and a ball gown, chugging champagne like it's beer, and bodyguards? Hmm. Or her uncles. Bestie. This year has been the year of delusions. We have seen so many delusional people this year. From Wenta Zesu to Shasha Susu. And their names rhyme for some reason. <laughs> to you, bestie. To you. You know, you have had a year. It's been pretty rough on you. You've resorted to your delusions. Well, I guess it's a coping mechanism for whatever you've got going on. You look tattered, battered. So, it's been a year, huh? <laughs> no, you're a snack and you know it. You're the whole meal. Bestie. You know where you can make a whole meal? Cooking Fever, the sponsor of today's video. Cooking Fever is only the world's biggest cooking themed mobile game. With over 30 unique restaurants, it's definitely got your country's cuisine in there. It never gets dull. And guess what their latest location is? TGI Fridays. In the game, you can literally make the same meals they've got in the actual menu. Like the TGI bacon burger, the loaded potato skins, the mac and cheese, and many more. The brownie. Bestie special to me. That's how I celebrated my first seven birthdays. <laughs> it was always the brownie with the ice cream on top. And you know, Bestie, how much I like feeling validated. And Cooking Fever does just that. It's so rewarding. You get coins from sales and tips from clients that you can use to upgrade your restaurant with new meals, better kitchen appliances, and decor. You got a ton of fun all packed in your phone that you can take with you anywhere. So get on that restaurant grind bestie and click on the link in the description box below or you could use the QR code showing on the screen right now to download Cooking Fever straight away for free. For free! Big thanks to Cooking Fever for sponsoring this video and for making me feel a little bit hungry. Now, back to our main meal. For one last time, more delusions from Sadie, the queen of delusions, in fact. One might also call her the queen of manifestation, the legend. She wants to be rich. She wants to be famous. And you know what? She's made it happen by pretending to be both those things. So what does she do? She shops all the time. No, like all the time. I think that's the only thing she does. She shops, 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 shops. Miss ma'am is in and out of them stores. The staff see her more than you see our family bestie. She's a regular client and always accompanied by our brethren of bodyguards. Bodyguards to protect her famous self from the threats of heavy lifting all her shopping bags. Cause somebody's gotta carry it. And you know what? The security around her depends on the day, like how hard she's shopping that day. Are we gonna shop so much? Are we gonna need four guards? <laughs> or are we shopping a little this time? Only two guards should suffice. Or a bigger threat, the threat of rain. They're everywhere. She's having lunch on her own. You know, the rich tend to live a very sad and lonely life. So she has to encompass this in her delusion. So she's sitting there on the table, you know, accompanied by all these poor men who've been standing there waiting for her to look through the menu. Now, and you're thinking, Reba, she's paid them for it. She has paid them for it. She has paid them to be bodyguards. You're not wrong. <laughs> but here's the thing. I don't think they're bodyguards. I don't know. If she rounded up her uncles and she was like, hey y'all, here's $20. All right, I want you to stand here. Yes. Pretend like you've been standing here for 15 minutes. She's gonna film a quick TikTok. So yeah, they were definitely getting paid. <laughs> and look, look how awkward this is. Like, this is really how having bodyguards would be like. He's just sitting there eating. They're just standing there. Like I would be embarrassed. Are you not like, hey, come on, babe. Like, I would eat so quick. 
just to be like, okay, oh my god, no, please sit down. Like, uh, I'll just gobble the food down. Because I feel like I'm being rushed. <laughs> the way this looks. So they're protecting you from every possible threat, these bodyguards. Props to them. Even, even germs, they protect her against. Even stains. You know, you're wearing a white skirt. Hell no! You're not sitting on the dirty gravel. We're gonna put a little Mew Mew bag. Is, is that what the brand is? I'm not sure. We'll put a Mew Mew bag so you lay your tushy upon it and think not of the stains. Now, we only see her leaving stores, right? We never actually see her buying things. So a lot of people are questioning whether the bags are actually empty. You know, like, did we, like, buy the Valentino bag off Amazon and, like, fill it with, like, empty shit and pretend there's stuff in it? Or did we actually buy stuff? You know? <laughs> Cause that's a, that's a whole new level of delusions and manifestations, you know? Look at that bag, y'all. Look at the bag. The poor, the bag looks battered and destroyed. It's been through the years. It has seen it all. Tell me you're not reusing those bags, you know? Like, come on. Folks are mad in her comments, you know? Who the fuck are you? She's the queen of delusions, the queen of manifestations. Now, I'm not exactly like bothered by it. I don't find it like, oh, so horrendous. Yeah, she's just being delusional, you know? Like, have you ever seen somebody write up a check of $1 million and keep it in their wallet to manifest it? So every time they look in their wallet, like, oh, oh my $1 million. I think that's cute. You know, it's a form of manifestation. But then the thing about her is, it's got this smug vibe, you know? The, you know, the dude's waiting on her while she eats. Someone's like, what the fuck is up with your face? You need to see. They don't mean like, she's obviously a beautiful girl. Like they're talking about, you know, her smugness. Mm -hmm. But then it's not really her face. It's the whole video. The whole video has that smug vibe. Pick it up. That's the vibe. You know? Anyway, we always see her when she's done with her shopping, right? We never see her when she's actually doing the shopping. Like here, for instance. Hey, sound good. <laughs> yeah. Galaxy. Look. Galaxy. Where she's looking at the cars. She said she was looking for a new babe. So. Or here, like, the first time I actually saw it, I was like, wait a minute, could it be true? Are her delusions coming to life? Of course, accompanied by her uncles in the back. No, no, her uncles are everywhere. <laughs> She's in the bathroom. They're in the shower, bitch. <laughs> what, 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 what Wattpad story is this? <clears throat> Honestly, I kind of love it. <laughs> anyway. So what she's manifesting is being rich and famous, all right? So let's look at the first bit, rich. Is she actually rich? She could actually be rich. Now, is it a self-made source of wealth or does she have a sponsor? If we take a look at some of her, you know, captions and content, like this, for instance. Girl really said, you always have the option of having no opinion as she walked out of the designer stores with her, you know, Bodyguards. That's kind of an alarming thing to say. And then she did this reel. Hey. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know this is a trend, and we've probably seen this TikTok a billion times. I don't think a self made woman would make that joke because it's not that funny. <laughs> Let's be honest. It's a very patronizing meme, you know? And further proof of her lack of wealth is in her bio. It says, left family at 18 with 250 euros, rich in 20. Maybe I'm just envious. But that puts aside one of her delusions, wealth. That's such a harsh sentence. <laughs> one of your delusions, wealth. wealth. You're delusional. Okay. Now her second delusion was fame, right? You look at a lot of her captions, they're all about her being a rising star. Her fans, she talks about her fans often. Her bio literally says celebrity. Embarrassing. Like, take a look at this. Honestly, 
when I ask for an Instagram picture, if y'all don't act like this dude and take a picture of me, like every, this is the only way, this is the only acceptable way of taking pictures of someone. Can you take a quick picture of me here? If you take one picture, get out. I don't want to see your face. If you're not clicking on that button until it says storage, n no available space, leave. Anyway, wherever she goes, somehow there's, she gets recognized. I don't know how she gets recognized, though, if I'm being honest. Like, she's not really famous. Nobody knows her. So this random dude just took a picture with her. Then struck a cute little conversation with the, with her uncle, I guess. Maybe he's like a family um, friend. <laughs> I don't know what this is! But this one's my favorite interaction with one of her fans, where she says, Loving fans is the best reason to be a celebrity, she said. Celebrity. <laughs> Matt is a self proclaimed celebrity. Like, I don't think you'd call, you could call yourself a celebrity. You know, I guess it's a title people give you. Once enough people, I guess, you know, can recognize you. No, like, look at this shit, it's kind of cringy. I'm not, like, it, it give me a little bit of an ick. I'm not gonna lie, okay? A little bit. Girl, I don't think, I think he was just trying to riz you up. <laughs> Honest. <laughs> kind of looked like he was asking for your number there and you were like, no thank you. I'm sorry, you're not my type. The boy really just shot his shot. I already lost baby girl. That's what it looks like to me. The bags, the bags, the tattered bags. Been through it, I'm telling you. The fibers on those bags are holding on. Oh my god, girly, it's time you get a new bag. Now, part of being rich is having rich friends. Like the friend of hers that tried to kidnap her once with her beautiful Barbie Mercedes. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's such a cute video. It's really cute, actually. It looks like um, a TV show. I'm on her side now, sorry. Switch teams so fast. Pick it up. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> the only reason I switch teams really is because I want to be her friend. Because she has a, a day where she gifts her friends. Bessie, me and you. Fuck no. <laughs> I thought they were. I thought the uncles were gonna hug. It was like the family reunion, you know? Oh, hey, how's it going? You know, but no, they were just switching bags. Because, you know, girlies went shopping for each other. It's gift giving day. <sighs> when is our gift giving day? Hmm? Or do we not have one of those? Right. Right, we don't, do we? Okay, everything I said about her, you know, her delusions, queen of manifestation, you know, it's just legend. Miss Ma'am is a legend. Honestly, love her for it, love her for it. Here's the thing though, there was this one TikTok that really, really threw me off. It's not on her Instagram, okay? Almost everything I showed you was actually from her Instagram, but this one's from her TikTok, and it really threw me off because this whole time I was so convinced Miss Ma'am was delusional. I was like, hell no, this bitch is delusional. She's not rich. She's not famous. These bodyguards are her uncles, all right? Until I saw this TikTok. Really, really put through me off. Are you confused? Did the point not come across? You look like you don't know what's going on. <laughs> the reason I showed you this is because the, the bodyguard was interacting with her as though he's been like actually in her life, like as a bodyguard, I would feel like since she was 11 years old, you know, like this is some kind of gang or mafia or whatever the hell they could be. And he's actually been her like, he's been in her life for a while and he's like sharing his thoughts, you know, like, no, sweetie, like this is a pretty nice plate. Right, it could look really nice. That just looked so more, so much more human to me. And so much more like how I would imagine a legitimate interaction to be between, you know, whatever they've got going on. He's not some random person that she's paid 
for a quick TikTok. He's actually been in every single one of those those TikToks. This dude, in, 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 like in particular, it really threw me off. I was like, wait a minute, is this guy actually a bodyguard? Like, ask, either Miss Ma'am is just using her family, and that's the only reason he picked up that plate. And he told her like, no, this is a good plate. Look really nice on the dining table. Or this is a legitimate bodyguard, and like someone sponsoring this girl's life, and he's pretty important. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Threw me off. Threw me off. Now I'm doubting. That's how good Queen of Delusions is. Crazy. Crazy. What are your thoughts? Do you think she is pretending to be rich and famous? I mean, honestly, famous? Definitely. Like, you can't really, like, pretend to be famous and get away with it. Like, at least in the first stages, you know? It's gonna be obvious, because no, nobody knows who the fuck you are. That's the whole point of being famous. So, if you're not famous, you can't pretend to be, you know? Well, you can, until you become famous for being the person that pretended to be famous. It's a little confusing. Uh, you, you, you're catching on, right? Rich is something else. You can definitely pretend to be rich, and a lot of people do it. It's a fake it till you make it kind of vibe here going on. Can't really say much on her, like, doing that. Like, she's free to do whatever she wants, you know? Nobody owns the internet, okay? I'm just like, you know, playing it safe in case she's actually part of some kind of like mafia. Careful there in the comments. <laughs> no, uh, but let me know your thoughts, guys. Um, that was pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed today's second last video of the year. <gasps> yes, there's another one. Which makes this video not that special at all, really. But it is a little special because you're here. Got Riz, almost like that one kid. Honestly, the guts on that boy. And then, like, she, the girl is beautiful. She's got all these guards around her and all these designer bags. Like, the guts you gotta have to walk up to this girl and be like, hey, baby girl, can I have your number? <laughs> I lost, baby girl. Who let this child loose? Yeah, it's been really nice to see you again. Just kidding. It's been all right. So it's all right. Work on those delusions, bestie. Let's try and leave our delusions in this year, okay? We're not, we're gonna walk into the next year not as delusional, okay? You know why? Because you're actually gonna be wealthy. You're actually gonna be healthy. You're actually, okay, I'm not, I'm not a motivated, not me. I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm not a motivational speaker, okay? We're kind of like derailing, so it's been good talk, good talk. <laughs> Love you.